Ash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo, the Lucky Ferals. Good morning, Boo. This morning, the cats are getting the Trader Joe's tuna for cats. Because I got home late last night and I totally forgot to defrost raw food. Actually, no. I am totally wrong right now. I set up their breakfast in their feeders and the breakfast should have went off at 7 a.m. this morning. So, okay, I've momentarily lost my mind. That's Boo's breakfast. Boo! That's your breakfast. That's your breakfast. Now the question is, did he eat his dinner? No, he didn't even touch his dinner. That's his dinner, that's his breakfast. I don't know why he's not eating. Boo! That's your food. I just sprinkled some crunchies on his food. He needs to learn how to eat out of this feeder. Because when I'm away overnight and for a weekend, that's how he's getting fed. Eat your food. Eat it. And this is the breakfast for the downstairs cats. Um, they ate all this one. They did not eat these. I think their routine is off. Obviously. Because I'm here yet the machines went off. Eat your food, Stella. I just put some crunchies in their food also. So Stella's gonna go finish that one off. Here comes Simba, I can hear him coming down the steps. Simba, you can eat your food. You can eat it. There we go. Splash will be next. Splash is letting me pat him. Hello, Splash. I move the feeder in Boo's room closer to where he normally eats, and I put some crunchies in his food, and he ate half of it. He'll probably eat the other half, it's just I'm setting up the gates in his door right now. 9 a.m. Splash was sitting with Simba on the cat tower in the front window, but then when I took the camera out, he jumped down. Right now he's in front of the packages which are in front of the tree. Simba has been playing with the undercover mouse. I don't know if Boo's right on the other side of the gate. Now I did that to the rug. Uh, Simba did not do that to the rug. I did that to the rug because the mouse was not turning. And even now, the mouse is off of the undercover mouse. So here's Simba. And I don't see Boo. There's Boo, he's in his window, looking outside, maybe he's watching Hydrox. 11 a.m. I just opened the back door to give Hydrox some food and he was laying on this black cat doormat. And he just walked down the steps and he's sitting right there and it looks like it is 36 degrees on the thermometer and that would be a heat wave because the past few days it's been down in the 20s so hydrox looks like he's doing okay good morning hydrox good morning he did not totally run away like right now I even walk towards him and he's still standing there. He's probably like six feet away from me. You are you hungry? Did the birds eat all your food? Okay, I I don't see any dry food in the bowl. Um, which you can't see, but I can see from the angle where my head is. But can you see all the bird poop in there? See all the bird poop? ton of bird poop on here and a whole bunch of new bird poop in the feeder. So the birds are getting in there and they're eating and they're pooping. Hydrox is getting a can of the Nature's Variety Instinct Limited Ingredient Diet Turkey formula. 
Okay, so you missed it because it happened really fast, and by the time I got the camera on and zoomed in, he had already walked away. Uh, but Hydrox basically walked over to the feeder, gave the food a sniff, and then walked away. So he must not be all that hungry. Uh, maybe he ate most of the dry food that was in the feeder, which is why he's not hungry. I don't know. Oh, here he goes. See? He just walked right past the food like he doesn't care about it. And that's good food, and that's expensive food. Are you guys playing with each other? So I was in the other room and I heard like movement at this gate, like someone was like banging on the gate. And I couldn't figure out, you know, what it was. I thought Boo was basically banging on the gate because he wanted to get out. And then I just walked over here and I saw Simba like right here at the gate, but Boo's right here also. So I don't know if they're playing through the gate like, I don't know if Boo's trying to get out and Simba's just, like, looking at him. I mean, right now, it looks like Boo's trying to be friendly. Look, he's laying down. He's showing his belly. But, um, like, I don't know what the deal is. Right now, Boo's looking at Simba. Simba's looking at Boo. Let's see what happens through the gate. 11.17 a.m. See Boo? Boo's showing him his stomach. So it looks like Boo is trying to play and Simba was like, oh no, you don't. But then Boo got in his submissive pose. See, Boo needs to learn how to play with the other cats. But it's good that Simba's just sitting there, because Simba wants to play with him. Simba's just kind of setting some rules right now. Hey, Boo. You want to play with Simba? Do you want to play with Simba? Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I tried to get that, but the camera did not focus in time. All of a sudden, I heard like a cat talking, and I turned around, and there was Hydrox and Simba smelling each other through the glass. They were basically trying to smell each other like they had their noses up against each other right through the glass. And then, I don't know if I made some noise as I was trying to focus the camera, and then Hydrox ran off. It is 6.45 p.m. Boo was on free roam all day. Right, Boo? You on free roam all day? He was sleeping on top of the cat tower in the living room window when I got back. And uh, I'm just about to give him some dinner. But maybe we need to open today's advent present, Boo? Boo, you want to open today's advent present? Is that a yes? Stretch. Look how long. What a long cat you are, Boo. Oh, long boy. Okay. Doesn't like it when I mess up his hair. Because he looks so pretty, right? Pretty boy, boo. Okay. Wanna open today's present? Today is day 18. Boo, you gonna pose? Pose. Pose, right here. Pose, you look pretty, boo. Pose. pose. Let's see what the cat's got. What'd you get, boo? What'd you get, boo? Look, we got a new can of cat food to try. What'd you get? What kind of cat food is that? It is Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets. Whoa. You like that, Boo? You like that? You want to pose this way? Okay, we pose like that. 
pose like that. Look, look at me. Pretty boy. Pretty boy. I should really get like little training treats. So this is Tiki Cat Sardine Cutlets. This is grain free. What do we have here? We have sardines, sardine broth, sunflower seed oil, locust bean gum, choline chloride, xanthan gum, paprika, taurine, and then we go into a bunch of vitamins. So basically these are just sardines. Sardines, sardine broth, um, and some thickeners and vitamins. So I think the cat should like these, considering they really like that Polynesian barbecue with that red uh, big eye fish. Um, so this is the Tiki Cat Tahitian Grill. And it also, it looks like Boo's on the can. Do you see that? It looks like Boo. See the black cat? There's a black cat on the can, but the black cat has green eyes and Boo has golden eyes. Right, Boo? So this is what it looks like. It looks like sardines. And the reason why it has a bit of the red color is because paprika is one of the ingredients. Okay, I just dished some out for Boo, but I'm feeding it to him in this automatic feeder because I want him to get used to it. I'm going to shut the feeder and it will dispense the food in about six minutes. Okay, I just split up the rest of the can among these three feeders. And Stella has dived right in. Simba smelled it and then kind of walked away. Look at this. What is she going to do? Just go down the line and eat them all? There goes Simba. I just moved one of the feeders over for Splash. He's eating the food out of the feeder. He seems to be enjoying it. Again, they're only getting a taste. This is a really small, I think it's a three ounce can, and it's being split four ways. So they're all getting less than one ounce of this food. Basically just to taste it and just give you an idea of what the cat's like. Not that I am changing their diet to a canned food diet, but every now and then I think it's good to give them some variety. And so far from uh, this little advent experiment, they seem to like the fishy food the best. I mean, that goes back to what Sonia, um, the animal communicator, said that they wanted. They, they asked her for more fishy food and they really seem to like it. Here comes Splash. He ate what was in that feeder, and now he's looking for more. I think they don't really like eating out of these feeders too much because there's not a whole lot of room for them to maneuver in that little feeding area. And the walls are pretty steep. Okay, I just heard Boo's feeder go off. Boo, come on, Boo. Boo, aren't you eating? Eat your food. Boo, you got food in the feeder. Come on, look, what's this? Boo, what is it? Eat it. Eat your fish. Don't you want the fish? Boo, look. There's fish in here. Eat the fish. Boo. So I put a few crunchies in the bowl with that uh, fish treat and Boo's not eating them. I don't know if he doesn't like the feeder. 
I don't know what his deal is. Eat it. Eat it, boo. You can eat it. Okay, I just put a little bit of the food on the plate with a little bit of crunchies. He doesn't want that either. So he has the food in the feeder. He has a little bit of food on the plate. Is he going to eat any of it? I just don't think he likes sardines. Maybe he'll eat it. I mean, he should like them because he ate the other day. But I want to get him used to eating out of that feeder. Maybe what I need to do is put like just a little tiny bit of crunchies in each compartment and just let it cycle through that. Look, he's eating it. He's like Simba. He puts his paw on the plate to hold the plate steady. That's what Simba does. If Simba's eating off a paper plate and the plate starts moving around, he holds it down with his paws. And Boo just did the same thing. Stella doesn't do that and Splash doesn't do that. Well, it looks like he likes it better on the plate than in the feeder, but after he eats it off the plate, let's see if he goes and eats it out of the feeder. He's smelling around for more. Are you going to smell it and eat it? Yeah, there we go. There we go. So it seems that all four of the cats really like this food. So for dinner, the cats are getting the can of tuna that I opened up earlier today. Uh, Boo's getting his tuna with some water and his herbs. Simba and Boo are pawing at each other through the gate. I know it's probably hard to see it because I'm shooting this way across the room and it's kind of dark out. And right now Simba is making kind of growling noises, but they've been pawing at each other through the gates. like. First, Boo was like pawing at Simba, and then Simba put his paw through the gate. Now Simba's in like submissive pose, where he's showing his belly. So it definitely looks like they want to play with each other, and they're just figuring out how to go about doing that. So I think it's a good thing that the gates are in the way, because sometimes Simba looks like he's getting upset, and Boo's like, well, you know, trying to figure it out. So that's what's going on. So now they're both laying down. They're both like in submissive poses. And I think they ju they're trying to figure out how to be friendly to each other. Boo showing his belly. Hello boys, are you being nice to each other? Are you guys being nice to each other? Are you getting along? You guys are going to play nice, right? You're going to play together nice and be best buddies, right? Best buddies? 7.35 p.m. Stella's on top of the cat tower, but she was just giving it a really good smell down because that is where Boo was laying all day. It is mail time. Let's open some more packages today. Boo's going to sit in his scratch and roll with his toy and watch me. Or maybe he's just going to play with the toy instead.
It says, hi Lucky, if anyone ever needed a box cutter, it's you, Lucky Lady. Also, I hope the cats enjoy the kickaroo from Linda Abaddon. Thank you so much, Linda. You are 100% correct. I am in desperate need for a box cutter, and in fact, I actually had it on my Christmas list this year. I am so happy you bought me one, and not only did you buy me one, you bought me the exact one that I need. I do have uh, one similar to this um, out in the garage somewhere, but um, I don't know where it is, and. I never used it inside, but now I have one specifically for opening these boxes. Thank you so much. And what do we have here? We have a Kong Kickaroo. And Boo is laying claim to it. Boo. Boo. Boo, we're opening packages right now. We're not playing. This is cute. Look how adorable that is. It looks like a Santa. Okay, boo. Okay, boo. Thank you so much, Linda. I'm sure the cats are going to enjoy this. I wish you could smell how amazing this smells right now. Oh my gosh. This is like my absolute favorite fragrance. And of course it is Stella's favorite also. And this is a Zoom bag. This is a frankincense and myrrh Zoom bag. Um, it has um, some oil in it. And um, it looks like a sampler of all the different products. So it has uh, Zoom oil, good for massages and deep moisturizing, good for a party of one, better for a party of two. Then there is Zoom mist for wherever you need a little spritz or pick-me-up. A mist made with 100% pure essential oils. Give it a shake and give it a shot. Uh, Zoom wash, it's skin hydration with pure essential oils and saponified organic oil, super emollient, carefully handmade, sharply aromatic, and delightfully habit-forming. Zoom Bar, which is the bar soap. Uh, Zoom Body, which is part lotion, part healing potion. Zoom Body is an ultra-moisturizing, curative combo of healing herbs and oils. Zoom Rub. Apply where your body needs it most, chapped skin, cracked heels, cuticles, lips, healing, scars, tattoos, and more. Stella's going to go crazy over this stuff. Oh my gosh. Zoom tub. Dig in, slip in, let these all natural bath salts send your body into warm retreat for best results. Swirl a small handful, enjoy with a friend. Then it says Zoom clean. Laundry soap, the only 100% all-natural laundry soap mixed, poured, and bottled by Happy Hands to clean, soften, and freshen your clothes. This is so cool. This is from Lisa Havacost. Thank you so much, Lisa. I am really going to enjoy using all of these items and I'm sure Stella is really going to enjoy smelling me use all of these items. This says, Christmas is coming, and life sure is sweet, surrounded by presents and good things to eat. And there's a cute little kitten. It looks like Simba. It says, D 
dear Lucky F, may you and yours have a very merry Boo Miss, Boo Boo, Baby Girl, and Craig. P.S. Thank you so much for what you do for the least among us. I'm dreaming of cuddles and toys in my paws. I'm one lucky kitty with love, Santa Claus. Well, thank you, Boo Boo, Baby Girl, and Craig. That's a really nice card. This is super wrapped. Swarovski. Oh, that's pretty. What is this? Oh my gosh. Look. Oh my gosh. It's a Swarovski crystal cat. How nice is that? Oh my gosh. I've never seen one of these before, ever. It is so sparkly. Isn't that nice? I don't know if the camera is picking up how sparkly it is. It is so nice. Thank you so much, Craig. That is so pretty. I need to make sure I put this somewhere safe so the cats don't uh, knock it over. This looks like a fleece throw with a leopard print on it. How cute is that? Ooh, look. It is a 64 gigabyte Ultra Plus SanDisk SD card. That is great. Oh my gosh, look. It's Simba. That is so cute. That looks like Simba. That would be Simba. Oh. Oh, look. Dollar Tree. $20 to the Dollar Tree? That is cool. I'll definitely use that. $25 to Petco. Excellent. And $25 to PetSmart. That is so great. Dear Lady LF. Oh, well, first let's read the card. There's Simba, and it says, The stockings were hung by the chimney with care. Merry Christmas. Wishing all the joys of Christmas to you, Boo, Stella, Splash, Simba, and Hydrox, and sending you all just a few treats to make your holidays merrier. Thank you for all you do for these special cats and for those who have come to love them. All joy, love, and light from your friends, C.R. Barboni and Tarbell. Oh, thank you, C.R. Barboni and Tarbell. That is so nice of you uh, to send uh, these gifts. They'll definitely be put to good use. What do we have here? Oh my gosh, look. We have the Pure Bites. This is chicken breast and lamb liver freeze-dried treats. Now they sampled some Pure Bites um, in their advent calendar not too long ago, so I know they like these treats. Thank you so much. And they have lots of meaty sticks. Chicken meaty sticks. And salmon meaty sticks. And tuna meaty sticks. And whitefish meaty sticks. They are set with their meaty sticks and their special treats. This is great. Thank you. And more pure bites. This is freeze dried wild salmon. Very cool. Thank you so much. And what's in here? This 
see if I can get it out. We have Duracell AA batteries. This is so great because today the undercover mouse toy was on and the batteries are starting to die on it again and I was just thinking that they need to be replaced. So now I have a supply of batteries. And there's also some AAA batteries. Batteries always come in handy with these cat toys. Thank you. These are the LR44 batteries and this is what that little electronic bug toy uses. I don't know how you knew it uses that. That's really, really cool. Thank you so much. There's a whole bunch of batteries. Wow. This is great. Oh my gosh, look. And there's another bug toy, another crawling bug. Yay. We now have two crawling bugs in this house. These are actually the only kind of bugs that I actually like. So thank you so much, uh, CR, Barboni, and Tarbell. Um, this is, this is great stuff for the cats. They are going to love all of this. And, um, yeah, I totally appreciate the gift cards and the batteries. Definitely, definitely helps me out. This says, Dear LF, me and my human mom wanted to send your cat something. I hope they like it. Cuddles and kisses for them. Greetings from Cat Mookie and his human mom, Silky, from Germany. Please give Hydrox some treats too. All the best. Well, thank you guys so much. Let's see what we have. We have a set of cuddle blankets. These are super soft fleece blankets and look they have paw prints they're gray with paw prints how cute is that that is so cute you see the paw prints adorable we have some soft squishy balls these are cat toys and simba and boo are going to love these. I mean, Stella and Splash would love them also, but Simba and Boo are the ones that really love playing with balls. And we have these. These are Trixie. And these are cute. These are, these are like furry. They're soft and then they're furry. We're going to love playing with these too. We have some cat treats. These are Vitacraft cat yums. Uh, these are cheese. And these are all in German. Oh, there's a little bit of English on here. It says, juicy, extra meaty bites with tempting cheese. I've never seen these before. It's always interesting to see products from other countries that we don't have here. And then there are some adorable little cat toys. Look at the little stars. They're so cute. And we have some Vitacraft liquid snacks. This is with chicken. It says, the light and creamy treat loved by cats, the perfect snack for in-between meals, which your cat can enjoy straight from the packet or bowl, or even as a topping on their main food. It'll be really interesting to see how the cats like all these different treats. I like to be able to give them variety in their treats because they do tend to eat the same food um, every day, um, the raw food that I give them. But with the little treats, I feel like they can get more flavors and more variety in that. So um, these are great. Thank you. And then there are some Thrive 100% chicken treats. These are pure and irresistible. It says, feed as often as you wish. Resale pack after use. Store in a cool place out of paws reach. I've never seen these either. That is so cool. Thank you so much for this package of cat goodies. What do we have here? Oh my gosh. Guys, look. These are all a bunch of wrapped presents. This is a lot to open. So 
Something smells really good. Oh, this is for Hydrox, look. It says, to you and your cats at Christmas. That is so cute. I've never seen a card like that ever. Oh, it's a Hallmark. I didn't know they made cards to you and your cats. It says, wishing you happy hellos, fun times with friends and family, and lots of pampering to fill your holidays. From Zoa and Russell, the cat. Hope you and Stella, Simba, Splash Boo, and Hydrox enjoy the gifts. Well, thank you, Zoa and Russell. I'm sure everyone will enjoy the gifts. It was so nice of you to send them. Okay, where should we start? Start with the box, okay. Okay, Boo, we're gonna open the box. We're gonna open the box, Boo. Box has tape on it. Look how cute, it's a black cat mug. I have not seen this mug in black. It looks like Boo. That is so awesome. It says, to LR from Zoa and Russell. Thank you. And look at this. Oh my gosh, look at this. Boo likes it already, Boo wants to use it. Look at this spoon, oh my gosh. I've never seen a spoon like that, look. It's a cat spoon. I guess you could put it on like the side of your mug. That's really, really cute. And then what is this? It says Meowy Catmas. I'm a bowl cozy pot holder. You can use me in the microwave under a bowl or just under a hot bowl. You can use me under a bowl of ice cream or anything you wish. Hope enjoy this handmade gift. Look. Look at the fabric. The fabric is all cats. Isn't that cute? That is so nice and the mug will fit perfectly in there, look. Look at that. It's a perfect fit for the mug. That way you don't burn your hands. What's in here? I love the plaid paper, it's very festive. Whoa. The cats have meaty sticks. Tuna, chicken, and chicken. They are set. They have so many nice treats right now. And what's in here? Oh my gosh, look, it looks like Stella. These are socks. They're so cute. Socks with Stella on them. Adorable. I don't know where you guys find all this amazing stuff. And then we have some cat toys. They're gonna love playing with these. And this, I think I know what this is because it smells so good. It smells amazing. What do you guys think it is? Do you know what it is? It is Stella's favorite soap. It is the frankincense and myrrh Zumbar. This is so great because I literally finished my last bar of this soap like a week or two ago and I've been using um, like tea tree oil soap which does not smell as nice um, because this is hard to find around here. There are like no stores uh, near my house that sell this. So thank you. I can't wait to use this. Oh my gosh, look. It is a wiggle worm chew toy. They need another one of these. Thank you so much for that. 
this is something that I also have not been seeing in any stores around here at all. It is a Jackson Galaxy Ground Prey Iguana. Stella's really gonna like this because Stella likes any kind of like wormy toys or anything that looks like something that like scurries on the ground. And it's blue, which is their favorite color. Then we have Pet Stages Spin and Scratch. Lightweight to bat and chase encourages hunting instincts. Oh, these are nice. Anything that they scratch on, they should really like. They've never had these before, so, and Boo loves these little balls. These are like the little balls that come in the pet stages, that grassy box. This is gonna be fun to see how they enjoy playing with this. And then we have this present for Hydrax. Look at that cute tag. Isn't that adorable? What did Hydrox get? It is a Perfect Scent Catnip Massage Toy. Wow, he should like this. Although, you know, with Hydrox, I've tried playing um, with toys with him and giving him toys. He's never really had any interest. But you know what I'm going to do? Now that Hydrox has moved into Boo's apartment, I'm going to give him a toy in the apartment. I'm going to see if he likes to play with it in the apartment. That was Boo going crazy behind me. Um, yeah, so thank you. This is great. And I like um, the material that it's made out of because this is obviously uh, weatherproof. Thank you so much, Zoa, for this package of very thoughtful presents. Thank you.